So if you are currently pursuing your BTEC or MTEC from Electrical Electronics or Communication and Intel, Qualcomm, TSMC, Samsung are your dream company, then this video could be your guide for their recruitment process in your campus. And in this video, I'll also share few sample questions which always this top company used to ask during those recruitment process. So don't dare to skip this video. Let's get started. Hey, my name is Rasdeep and I'm currently working as hardware engineer at Intel. So before I start this video, please be clear about one thing. VLSI company and electronics core company are not different. That means VLSI company are not only for your digital or analog profile. This include also communication, RAF or any other domain which we have as electronics or electrical engineer. So recruitment process in your campus consists of three stages. Stage one is your CV shortlisting. Stage two is your exam, which could be offline or online and could be computer based or paper based. And that stage two is the most crucial part and I'll spend uh, much of the time in explaining stage two. And stage three is your in-person interview. So I'll go through about each and every stage. So main motivation behind first two stages is to filter out definitely because they can't take in-person interview for every one of us. Great. But the second most important thing is that as you are freshers and you are coming from electronics or electrical background and inside these two we have many domain first two stage what they do they try to know your domain like in which domain you are good at you are good at programming or you are good at designing or you are good at communication or rf etc etc in stage one you don't need to do anything actually because you have already pre prepared your cv so in stage one your cv need to talk on behalf of you so your CV must be a great one so that it got shortlisted for maximum of the company and the main two content of your CV are your CGPA I know you might many of you may be sad because you have a low CGPA no issue uh, they have two components CGPA and the projects so these two need to be balanced if CGPA not so much good and your projects are very good then also your CV will be get shortlisted and vice versa I won't take too much time in this section because I have already explained in depth about how to prepare your CV for a great VLSI company and you can check out I think video is coming here I'll uh, keep the link in description also start this video please check which will help you to make your CV great and there I uh, also shared my uh, CV uh, which got selected in Intel so stage 2 is your exam and generally exam are online like uh, now it should be online but when uh, we are in campus also that time also it organized in online fashion online fashion means computer based uh, maximum of the company organized it in computer based only so in computer based uh, generally they have two section first section is your general aptitude and second section is your technical interview and few company also have some subdivision under the technical and those are might be programming analog digital communication machine learning but uh, these are uh, variable uh, aspects they depend upon your company but in general we have two sections general aptitude and technical part and maximum of the questions are mcq based uh, they consist of one mark or two mark and uh, many times they don't de disclose about uh, they have negative marking or not don't take anything which you don't know because there might be some negative marking also as they are computer based so uh, many company like for example company a b c d uh, they don't organize those exam by themselves actually what they do they recruit some third party like a uh, higher pro and i i'm not uh, getting the name but higher pro is very popular uh, for organizing this type of exams and uh, this have one pro point also for example company a and company b and both of them are organizing using higher pro then 
in as per my knowledge many of the questions got repeated so if you are giving for company a in higher pro and you know the questions and next day you have exam for company b with same higher pro then five to six question might get repeated so in general aptitude i don't want to discuss much more because the level of aptitude question are same as gate syllabus so if you have already covered your gate syllabus then general aptitude you can go through so now let's discuss about technical portions so in technical portions first topic we'll discuss is analog and analog don't mean only analog your analog might include edc rf portion your emft portions then your analog communications portions if they don't have some dedicated portion for those sometimes they have like communication few portion then all the question for analog and digital communication will go to that portion but if they don't have then inside analog only all those part will be there so here i general i am generalizing it and i will discuss inside analog only so inside analog 90 percent of the questions are from gate level only so if you are from btech third year fourth year prepare your that syllabus and if you are pursuing your mtech then you already have uh, done those parts so it's a good news for you you need to revise those portions and then remaining 10% might be from some higher level like uh, generally what they tend to do those company they organize exam for btech and mtech together like same question paper for btech people also for mtech people also and th that's why there might be some advanced topic but if you are btech people you can comfortably skip those questions if you don't know they this won't harm your marks so don't worry so let's discuss about a few sample questions which already arrived in a few of this top company so first of all see this question this, uh, question is uh, from your concepts of zener diod and i think uh, in btech level you have already completed for mtech no doubt you know that one so questions are very easy only you don't need to worry much then question from edc might come like this question uh, you can take snapshots from this video and you can after this video you can just go through these questions i'm uh, putting them in my screens then one most important topic is opm in analog and from opm comfortably you can get two to three questions and for example questions like this always come always for gate also and for this type of exams also and if you are uh, want to know like emft because analog uh, is inside emft only so from emft one sample question if you want to look then this question and this type of question generally max linear used to ask then most important is your rlc circuits it is very basics many of time we feel we know everything and we tend to just ignore but don't ignore your rlc concepts go through revise them once and again because most of the question in analog are from rlc concepts only for example see this question this question is from your rlc then this question then these questions so these all three questions are standard question and same wise question are always in your analog portions so you must first topic if you want to revise it should be your rlc concepts and then directly your opm concepts these two you need to revise for your analog domain then one important part is your cmos you know cmos come in analog and in your digital also so in cmos if you expect some question in analog portion then question like this always come they, they are very common and like this question this is also very common very easy just you need to do some uh, calculation and answer is here so you need to revise those things and also there are few questions from bgt don't ignore your, ignore your bgt some basic question like this some conceptualized question from bgt might arrive so after analog we have digital and and in digital uh, what happen they tend to ask something more than your btech knowledge also if you are from btech don't need to worry i'll tell you from where you can prepare those extra thing so let's see some sample questions so this first question is your time uh, calculation question and this if you have done your mos vlsi you can easily answer this question 
then this second question uh, this actually these four question are coming here i think in the screen these four question are the type in which your flip-flop question might arrive and flip-flop is a must cover topic in your digital so first of all revise your flip-flop nicely because uh, many question like out of 20 question four to five question there should be from flip-flop only so flip-flop is very important uh, then uh, like this question is very easy uh, actually this arrived in many gate question uh, in previous year also then question from decoder also adc uh, deck and adc you need to prepare then if you want to see some uh, sample question from microprocessor then uh, see this question the same type of question and i've uh, come for microprocessor and if you don't know your microprocessor then i'll suggest you don't go through those things now if you have don't if you don't have time because microprocessor there might be one or two question so for one or two question uh, don't waste your two or three days but if you have time then you can cover your microprocessor also then see in my previous mini video i have already specified that memory is really an important topic in digital and see this question this question is very easy just basic you just need to know the basic memory concepts then only you can like directly you can give your answer and if you're thinking like from where you need to prepare those analog and then digital then don't miss my this two video coming here and i'll put those link in description box also so don't miss this two video you will get the source resources from where you can quickly uh, cover all the concepts you need for your exam and one thing guys after every upload i wait for you in my comment section there you can ask me question and i'll answer your every question and you can suggest me for future video topics also like many of you have already requested me to make a video for idiot tools used in vlsi industry and which is beneficial if you know for your job so if you have the same thinking then please let me know and i'll make a video very soon so in programming part uh, generally you, you have two things you have very log very important and you have c not so important if you are not from computer science background but uh, not computer science actually because in mtech we have few specialized branch like computer technology in iit delhi we have so they know about electronics also and about computer uh, like programmings and those things also kernels uh, operating systems so see if you don't know and you don't have time you can skip but very log don't skip because very log you must know as a electronics engineer and if you want to pursue your career in digital domain but in general in c generally this type of question arrive like find out output or find out error and also in programming you have one section for algorithm so in algorithm it is language independent they ask you the flow for example see this question these three questions these are the example like how algorithm questions are asked and in algorithm you must know all the shorting and all the searching algorithm all the means not all the specialized shorting and search those which are commonly known so you need to know those algorithm for sure and they are very easy like one or two hour only and you can know those concepts and in verilog also same concepts like you will have find output or find error or some one line question like this what is the difference between blocking and non-blocking so from concept based question definitely if you are from communication background and you want to pursue your communication uh, career as a communication engineer all the vlsi company and again i'm iterating is vlsi don't mean only digital or analog vlsi means everything in electronics if i say uh, a vlsi company which company come to your mind first it is intel or qualcomm right so intel has a great portion or domain of people who work on communication only and qualcomm chips are coming in your mobile and without communication you can't do anything so for those company there are many questions from communications also so for example see this question like this question they might ask you from signal and system or like this question from your analog communication portion but don't worry you don't if you don't know communication you just skip it because why they are organizing exams 
they are organizing exams to know your domain like in, in which domain you are skilled so if you answer most of the question in digital domain that means you are comfortable in digital domain so they will recruit you for digital domain only and same true for communication or analog so don't worry like for many of uh, those questions i can't also solve those uh, questions but i have a job so that implies that you don't need to know all the question from all the domain just choose your domain be a perfect in that domain and then explore few other domain little like you are skilled in analog perfect then you can see little bit digital little bit very log or c programming so the purpose of this video is just to guide you or give you a overview like what is the standard of question but not to make you afraid so my friend uh, be clear so before i start the most interesting stage and that is your personal interview stage i want to thanks all the 245 people who have already subscribed to my channel and who are a constant motivation for me to make video and if you are not from that 245 people then why you are waiting subscribe now because it's free so in my perspective like if you are in stage 3 like you if you have qualified for personal interview then all those recruiter seeing you as their potential employee and they are doing this interview portion it's only to know that the thing you have written in your cv you know everything from that cv and the answer you have given your exam it is solved by you only so if you cleared your cv portions and exam honestly then you don't need to worry about stage 3 because stage 3 is too easy for you if you have made your cv as i suggested in in my this video then 90 percent of the work is already done because your cv is the question paper for your interview and you have set your question paper in your cv so you can go in your interview in full confident and with confident your better version will come out and if your better version come out during interview then nobody can go away without giving you a job so be clear for stage one like making your cv is the most crucial part don't ignore that one and with this covid situation like as i am recording in 2021 this year also i think your exams uh, your interview interview are going online so with online interview you need to do little trick around extra thing you need to do i have already shared in my this video and go and check that video after this video all the video i have mentioned here are in the description so don't worry and please comment down like if you want to know my interview experience from all those top company i have given interview for all those top companies and if you want to know like what are the tricks and uh, heck you can apply during your interview so that interviewer will ask what you want to answer very uh, interesting right so if you want to know those thing tricks please comment it down and i'll make my next video for sure on that topic only if i added some value to your life then don't forget to like my video i am targeting a hundred like in this video please help me so bye bye and see you in your next video best of luck